Hello everyone. How's it going? A yacht is a sailing or power vessel used for pleasure, cruising, or racing. There is no standard definition, though the term generally applies to vessels with a cabin intended for overnight use. To be termed a yacht, as opposed to a boat, such a pleasure vessel is likely to be at least 33 feet, 10 meters, in length and may have been judged to have good aesthetic qualities. The Commercial Yacht Code classifies yachts 79 feet, 24 meters, and over as large. Such yachts typically require a higher crew and have higher construction standards. Further classifications for large yachts are, commercial, carrying no more than 12 passengers. Private, solely for the pleasure of the owner and guests, or by a flag, the country under which it is registered. A superyacht, sometimes mega yacht, generally refers to any yacht, sail or power, longer than 131 feet, 40 meters. Racing yachts are designed to emphasize performance over comfort. Charter yachts are run as a business for profit. As of 2020, there were more than 15,000 yachts of sufficient size to require a professional crew. The term, yacht, originates from the Dutch word yacht, pl. Yachten, which means hunt, and originally referred to light. Fast sailing vessels that the Dutch Republic Navy used to pursue pirates and other transgressors around and into the shallow waters of the Low Countries. The history of pleasure boats begins with road craft in pharaonic Egyptian times, and other vessels in the waters of Burma, India, Mindanao, and Japan. It described 8th century Anglo-Saxon royal, play ships, that featured ornamented bows and sterns and which had the capability of cooking on board. The history of sailing yachts begins in Europe at the beginning of the 1600s with the building of a pleasure vessel for the son of King James I of England. While other monarchs used naval ships for transportation and conquest, James I was the first English monarch. To commission the construction of a yacht, for his son Henry, Prince of Wales in the early 1600s, Pleasure vessels acquired the name yacht after the time of Charles II, who spent time exiled in Europe and visited the Netherlands. Where a variety of yachtin was already well developed as pleasure boats for the elite classes since the beginning of the 17th century. Upon his restoration to the English crown, Charles commissioned a series of royal yachts, which included at least one experimental catamaran. The first recorded yacht race between two vessels occurred in 1661, followed by the first open sailing competition in 1663 in English waters. Starting in 1739, England found itself in a series of wars, a period that saw a decline in yachting. In Ireland, however, the gentry enjoyed yachting and founded the first yacht club in Cork the Cork Harbour Water Club in 1720. English yacht racing continued among the English gentry who founded England's oldest yacht club in 1775 to support a fleet at Cumberland. With maritime peace, starting in 1815, came a resurgence of interest in yachting. Boat builders, who had been making fast vessels both for smugglers and the government revenue cutters, turned their skills again to yachts. The fast yachts of the early 19th century were fore and aft luggers, schooners, and sloops. By the 1850s, yachts featured large sail areas, a narrow beam, and a deeper draft than was customary until then. Racing between yachts owned by wealthy patrons was common, with large wagers at stake. America's Cup arose out of a contest between the yacht, America, and its English competitors. Both countries had rules by which to rate yachts, the English by tonnage and the American by length. In the late 19th century, a yacht owner would base their choice of vessels upon preferred lifestyle and budget, which would determine the size and type of vessel. Which would most likely be a fore and aft, two-masted sailing vessel. A treatise on the subject, a manual of yacht and boat sailing, provided detailed information on selecting, equipping, sailing, seamanship, management of the paid crew, and racing such vessels. It included a brief section on steam yachts, the recirculating coil steam engine just having made such yachts efficient enough for leisure travel on the water. Sailing yachts depending on size, a cruising yacht is likely to have at least two cabins, a main salon, and a forward stateroom. In smaller yachts, the salon is likely to have convertible berths for its crew or passengers. Typically, the salon includes a dining area, which may have a folding, built-in table. The salon is typically contiguous to the galley. A cruising yacht is likely to have a head, bathroom, with a marine toilet that discharges waste into a holding tank. Larger yachts may have additional staterooms and heads. There is typically a navigation station that allows planning the route. 
For cruising versus racing embody different trade-offs between comfort and performance. Cruising yachts emphasize comfort over performance. Racing yachts are designed to compete against others in their class while providing adequate comfort to their crews. Cruising yachts may be designed for near-shore use or for passage making. They may also be raced, but they are designed and built with the comfort and amenities necessary for overnight voyages. Qualities considered in cruising yachts include performance, comfort underway, ease of handling, stability, living comfort, durability, ease of maintenance, and affordability of ownership. Cruising sailboats share the common attribute of providing overnight accommodations. They may be classified as small, easy to haul behind a trailer, near shore, and offshore. Multi-hull sailing yachts are a category, part. Small yachts are typically shorter than 33 feet, 10 meters, in length overall. Trailer sailors that are readily towed by a car are generally shorter than 25 feet, 7.6 meters, in length overall and weigh less than 5,000 pounds, 2,300 kilograms. Nearshore yachts typically range in size from 33 to 45 feet, 10 to 14 meters, length overall. Offshore yachts typically exceed 45 feet, 14 meters, in length overall. Racing yachts emphasize performance over comfort. World Sailing recognizes 11 classes of a racing yachts. Thank you all very much. Please like share and subscribe. It means a lot to me.